This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I want to talk about bed bugs. It's been a while since I made a bed bug video, but this is a question that comes up on my channel, especially since the last video I did, how to kill cockroaches in your electronics. This is a question about how to kill bed bugs that are in your electronics. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate all of the positivity everybody sends my way. And so if you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment below. I read all my comments. Every comment that comes through my channel, I read every single one, and I try to reply to as many as I can. So if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask. Um, I also live stream every Thursday night, so you can come on, talk to me, and ask me. I've got a Skype number I can call. You can call me, whatever. We can talk, and you can get your questions asked there. So I really try to, to get to all your questions as 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 best I can. So let's talk about electronics. Now the reason this question comes up all the time is because people will have electronics in their bedroom. Like maybe you work from home, maybe you have a laptop, maybe you're doing schoolwork or something and you fall asleep in the bed with an iPad or a laptop or something like that. Bed bugs can crawl into these devices. Um, I've found bed bugs in stuff like this before. And the problem is, is that with the industry pushing heat treatments, these are the items that you cannot heat. You know, if you get them up so hot, you'll damage them. Uh, televisions, uh, laptops, alarm clocks, um, you know, these things that are sitting here next to the bed, you know, the things that, that sit right there. I'll tell you another thing, bubblers for people that, that, are, uh, that are on like oxygen, um, you know, any kind of machinery that's sitting nearby the bed that cannot be heat treated, um, and not just electronics, but like let's say you have a, a book of a box of comic books under the bed, or you've got some shoe boxes or something like that, and it's got some things in it that you can't actually heat treat, like maybe a box of keepsakes from when your children were young, or you know, something like that that you've got in your room and you're worried that bed bugs might actually be down inside these devices, how do you eliminate bed bugs in these devices and ensure that you know, you're not gonna continue to infest your house from this stuff that you've got in your room? Now, first and foremost, I don't recommend heat treatments. The reason I don't recommend heat treatments is because when the heat gets turned off, and this is one of the things a lot of people will try to sell you when you get a bed bug job, they'll come out and they'll say, oh, well, Heat is the way it goes. It's going to kill them instantly. They're going to be dead today. You won't have any more bed bugs at all. This is what we have to do. This is all that we do as our company. And that's what they, you know, that's the type of service they provide. The problem is when you turn the heat machine off, there's no residual. There's no residue to kill the bed bugs. Now, some of these exterminators come back and they argue and they say, yeah, but we're going to apply a pesticide too so that just in case there's any stragglers left behind, there won't be. But just in case there's any stragglers left behind, they'll get into that pesticide and they'll die. Um, all right, the problem is, is that a lot of the chemicals that they're using don't even work. You know, if they're not going to be using Crossfire, which is what I recommend or apprehend, they're not going to be getting rid of your bed bugs with pesticide residue. It's just the way it is. The industry is so narrow on which pesticides actually work for bed bugs now that that's not going to get rid of your problem. The, the thing that you got to realize is that the, the pesticide, so, so bed bugs develop a resistance to pesticides. So you're not going to be able to get rid of bed bugs with a chemical that they're resistant to or they're immune to. Okay, that's not going to work. So that's why I recommend Crossfire because that's what I use in my business. I'm actually going ahead of there to kill bed bugs now and I'm, uh, 
Yeah, that's what I use every time I do a bed bug job. I use Crossfire. Um, I'm very successful with Crossfire, and I hardly ever have to do a return trip. One time is all it takes for me. Now, if you're going to buy Crossfire to use yourself on bed bugs, it may take you a couple extra shots. You know, you got to understand. I'm an ex I'm a professional. I've been doing this for nearly 25 years, um, killing bed bugs, and so I know how to get rid of bed bugs. I know I know where to treat. I know how to treat. I know all the places that I've had problems treating bed bugs in the past, and so it's a lot of trial and error over 25 years. I should have been able, you know, I should be able to kill them by now. Um, but you, you know, you may not be an exterminator. You know, may not have the experience I have, so it may take you a little longer. So just because you purchase Crossfire don't mean it's a silver bullet. You'll be done with just one treatment. A lot of people are, but not everybody. So anyway, let me get back to this electronics. So you got electronics in your bedroom. Let's say you sleep with your laptop in the bed or cell phones. Cell phones are something to find bed bugs in all the time. Sleep with a cell phone. Or even if you're not even in the bed, it's just on a nightstand beside the bed. It could have bed bugs in it. So how do you get rid of the bed bugs in this stuff when the bed bugs, you know, you, you can't heat treat these devices. You can't, you know, with your sheets, comforters, come, uh, you know, clothing, stuff like that, you can just throw that stuff in the dryer and it will kill the bed bugs in those, you know, belongings. But you can't throw your cell phone in the dryer. You can't throw your laptop in the dryer. So what do you do? All right, so Crossfire, the reason that I recommend Crossfire for bed bugs is because Crossfire is a non-repellent pesticide. This means that the chemical is not recognized by bed bugs. They don't know you've sprayed anything. You could have sprayed water and it dried up and they wouldn't even know the difference between water or Crossfire. It's a really good pesticide because they don't know it's there. So what happens is when you sleep in the bed, and you've treated your mattress, box spring, headboard, footboard, bed rails, sofas. You know, that's another place that bed bugs like to live is on your sofa or your lazy boy recliner. If you've got bed bugs in those things and then you sit there and do, you know, maybe some schoolwork or something on the sofa, the bed bugs can crawl in your laptop while it's sitting there on the sofa. So what you do is you treat these areas with crossfire and then leave your laptop there beside the bed or don't leave it on the bed because if you leave it on the bed it gives a place for them to harbor where they won't get into the chemical so you, what you do is you sit it down on the floor beside the bed or you slide it under the bed and you sit it on the night side table beside the bed you know maybe you got a glass of water right there you can sit your cell phone right there beside the bed don't sleep with it in the bed the reason you don't sleep with it in the bed is because when you sleep with these devices in the bed, they lay on your covers and your covers aren't treated. You're not supposed to treat your covers with pesticide. Don't do that. Don't treat your sheets. Don't treat your comforter. Don't treat your pillows. Don't treat that stuff with Crossfire. Don't do that. You just treat your mattress, box spring, headboard, footboard, bed rails, you know, all of the major places on your bed, but do not treat your comforters. Do not treat your covers because you're not supposed to. It's against the label. Um, so anyway, you get all this done, you leave your laptop there. Okay, so the thing is, is that bed bugs cannot get a blood meal from your laptop. They have to have you to feed on to get a blood meal. So understand that when they're feeding on you, biting you, they have to come out to get to you. And if they're in the laptop, they're going to crawl out of the laptop. They're going to crawl across the surface of your mattress, across the surface of your box spring. They're going to bite you, but then they're going to crawl back. But once they've crawled onto the bed, the mattress, the box spring, the bed rails, whatever, as long as they've walked across that surface, they're going to die. So that is how you get rid of bed bugs in your electronics. You have to treat with the right pesticide. You have to use the right chemical. And as long as you're using Crossfire or Apprehend or something like that that's non-repellent, the bed bugs don't see, the bed bugs will crawl out of your belongings, they will die, you don't have to worry, they can't live there forever. So hopefully this video has been informative, that you've learned something today. If not, I'm sorry, <laughs> leave a comment below and ask any question that you want. I appreciate everybody who comments. I appreciate everybody who hangs out with me on my live streams. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. And I hope I've answered your questions about bed bugs and your electronics. Y'all have a great day. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.